Alright, maybe I can sneak in. <laughs> nice and quiet like. I don't even know what I'm sneaking into. Wait, grocery store? Is that where it is that where I need to go? For, maybe that's first nas first national grocery store? It won't open. Nice and slow. <laughs> this may be perfectly timed by accident. Be cautious when sneaking past enemies to avoid direct keeping cover whenever possible. Stick to the shadows, move slowly, and keep as low as possible. Okay. I accidentally timed that perfectly. Okay, where am I going? I don't even know when he's going to show up. I don't know how long he stands out there. It won't open. But it won't open. That much I know for sure. He is going to kick me out if he finds me. Possibly kill me. Ooh. Here we go. The hell? That place has been smashed open. The glass, the door. The bomb went off in there. What the fuck? Um... What the f- There we go, Jesus, my mouse sensitivity was like 50 times- My mouse sensitivity was like 50 times normal for some reason. Until I just went back into the menu and came back out. That was weird. And Smith Courier. This actually opens. But what is this? The door's bolted shut. Ah, shit. The door's bolted shut. Hmm. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Alright. Let's go a different way. Where are you? Well, he hasn't come back yet. It's unlocked. Hmm. Oh, is this the first national? Oh, whoa, what's this? Objects that can be pushed will have uh, left scratch marks on the floor. You won't be able to move objects if the door it passes next to is open. Yep. I believe that's going to become very relevant soon. Let's go ahead and push that weird. It seems to make a, a repetitive noise like 50 times per second. Sounds like the sound's bugging out. Yeah, it's supposed to be a sliding noise, but it's not working right. Okay. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Watch out for medical boxes. They contain blah blah blah, apply treatments, okay. Alright, so this is the first national grocery store. The till's empty. Yep. Whoa. This has been smashed open. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Oh, I can give that to the drunk. Nothing of interest. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. It does. Don't exactly know what this is measuring, but it, it's going up. Which is a good thing for a store, I think. Unless, of course, that's a debt of uh, a graph of debt, in which case it's a bad thing. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. Okay, and this is a section where we need to do something. Need to do this, if I remember right. Come on, nice and fast like. There we go. So 
So yeah, the uh, cop was coming back. Oh gee, thanks. Yeah, there, there's some weird awkwardness to the game. In its quest for cinematicness. In that there's too many cutscenes. And the cutscenes that they do have are too long. Like that one, where after I put the wooden handle in and he's lifting it up, my view and control of my character was still stuck for, like, five seconds after it needed to be. You know, I mean, I need to get moving because the cop is coming in to catch me, and yet I'm stuck in a cutscene and I can't move. All the while, the cutscene is, well, at the end there, is doing nothing. It's just too... Like, the cutscene's too flabby. Just way too damn long. Hell, there shouldn't even really be a cutscene. It's really weird. Nope, not gonna happen. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Now, I think I've read these, right? Yeah, I, re I mean, I read this. Unless he added to it. Mm, nope. Oh, the check marks mean I have read them, right? Missing entries 1916 to 1921. I am completely unable to recall what led to my confinement in the Arkham Asylum, or what happened to the six years between my two visits there. They tell me I had some kind of personality change that uh, that night in Boston. They watched me for a while, decided I wasn't dangerous, and let me go. After six years, I switched back, just as mysteriously. They admitted me again, found nothing wrong, and here I am. Among the personal effects they returned to me is a leather-bound journal. Perhaps it will tell me what I've forgotten. Looking through the journal, all I can find is my life as a police detective. There's no hint of any illness or mental strain or anything else that could explain my change of personality or the equally sudden recovery that still baffles my doctors. However, a number of pages have been torn from the journal. Who did it or why, I can't tell. Did I destroy them myself to suppress some horrific memory? Or did the asylum staff judge their contents detrimental, uh, detrimental to my treatment? Why was part of my life erased? What is it that I can't remember, and who wants it to stay forgotten? Is it a precaution to protect my sanity, or the key to something I need? Wait, I have two things to read? I keep picking up stuff without realizing it. Arkham Advertiser, 6th of February, 1922. Grocery store robbed. Manager missing. Thieves have robbed the first national grocery store in Innsmouth, breaking down the door and forcing open the cash register. The newly appointed manager, Mr. Brian Burnham, has been missing since shortly before the robbery. And this is a very disturbing turn of events, said Mr. Arthur Anderson, first national's regional manager, from his Arkham office. This branch had only recently opened, and First National Grocery had high hopes for its success, given the general lack of modern stores and amenities in Innsmouth. The robbery is a definite setback, and more worrying still is the fact that the branch manager remains unaccounted for. Innsmouth authorities could not be reached for comment. Hmm. Given the general lack of modern stores, I wonder if they didn't take kindly to modern stores. They don't seem to like foreigners, for, foreigners of any kind. Diary of Brian, Bur Brian Burnham. Alright, we're about to find out. Well, I agree with the locals on one thing. I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. Okay, so yes, they did hate him, because he was out of town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first, I thought people were staying away because First National isn't local. But I haven't seen anyone go into any of the other stores, either. Come to that, I haven't seen the other stores open for business. This place is deader than dead. Still, it won't be long before I'm out of here. Before we're both out of here. She's the one good thing about Innsmouth. We'll bust open Old Man Waits' safe, take a car, and then it's New York City. Bright lights, nightlife, everything. I'll show her all of it. Wait, is that the woman that was waiting for, like, just milling about? 
Waiting for Brian Burnham? Maybe he did escape. But, I mean, why wouldn't... No. Why would everything be broken? He had the keys. Hmm. Alright, just grabbed a medical kit. Uh, yeah. I have one... Uh, plank, one needle and thread, and one antiseptic, or painkiller, whatever that is, and two bandages. I think... Oh, yes. It sounds a bit windy, doesn't it? And there's a couple missing bricks. Hmm. Just gonna push this over here. And... There we go. These are piles of skulls. The cellar's filled with human remains. It looks like there's been a fire in here. Oh, this is that... Yeah, this is that window that I looked in from. What is there are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. 1846? That is a long time ago. Innsmouth Courier, 19th of June, 1846. Innsmouth Patrician Arrested, Tales of Heathen Ceremonies, by John Lawrence, Editor. Obed Marsh, the head of Innsmouth, wealthy and influential... The head of Innsmouth's wealthy and influential Marsh family now sits in the city jail accused of devil worship and other unspeakable practices. The whole community is left in a state of shock by the horrifying revelations that accompanied the arrest. Readers will no doubt be aware of the deep reservations expressed by the courier's editorship and other decent citizens concerning the esoteric order of Dagon, which was founded by Captain Marsh after his return from the South Seas and is said to be based upon a primitive religion he encountered among the uneducated natives of certain distant Pacific Islands. The captain's arrest seems to lend strength to those suspicions, and a full investigation is expected to unearth more. Hmm. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Watch out for ammo pickups. Ammo will always carry across to the next chapter, but the quantity you can carry for each weapon is capped. Okay. So now I have ammo, but I don't have a gun. These look like, uh, yeah, these are ancient printing presses. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. Nothing of interest. General notices. They're all dated 1846. No one's been in here since 1846, basically. Or well, at least no one's really worked in here. It won't open. Bolted? Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotta unlock it. Might as well close it behind me. Oh, I come out here. Oh, it was bolted from the other side. Huh. That's pretty cool, actually. I thought maybe it was like an arbitrary where the door just happens to be locked because you're not meant to go there now, but it actually literally was bolted. That's very cool. Hello, Jack. Oh, shit. Uh, hi. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? 
Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. <laughs> no kidding. A little bit suspicious to just show up back here. Let's see if my sensitivity wigs out again. Nope, it's fine. I guess I should sneak out of here, shouldn't I? Yeah, because he's probably still about, right? Is this the way out? Yeah, here we go. Whoa. love this game so much. The it just creates such an op oppressive oppressive sense of dread. I'm stuck in this godforsaken town with these fucked up people and something's watching me. And everything is wrong. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked Please stop bothering me, stranger. All right, let's go pay a visit to the drunkard. I do have the alcohol, right? Yeah. Bottle of bootleg rum. Like, why do they keep looking at me? Just stop looking at me. Alright, before I give the, uh, alcohol to the drunkard, I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Let's give this drunkard his poison. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh. Why, thank you? I think those were keys? I'm not even sure. Yeah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that are rumoring an anchor and an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, 
was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Soldiers screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Hmm. To the town poorhouse, Dock Street. Ha <laughs> ha! Tonight, boys, we must fight, but the winds which are our jail shall never. Oh, you! Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of the sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Hmm. A spot of sanctuary. I might need that very soon. Alright, hold on just a second. Oh, no, don't. Before I hold on, the thing's watching me again. From the rooftops. It's above me. Anyway, hold on just a second. Okay, let's go find Dock Street. Let's go find the poor house, which I now have the key to. What are you looking for in the garbage? Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I can't be seen talking to you. Okay, good luck. Good luck finding whatever it is you're looking for in there. Seems most of the normal people in this town are too frightened to tell me much of anything. Yeah. Alright, Duck Street. I don't think it was over here. South Street? Broad Street? Dock Street, Dock Street, Dock Street. South Street, Town Square. Federal Street. Let me guess, this is Dock Street, right? Yep, Dock Street, of course. Uh, so can I just, like, go on by? Um, okay. 
It's locked. It must lead to the back. The key doesn't fit. Wait, what? It's locked. It must lead to the back of a variety store. Oh, so I need to go past... Well, I, I can't. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No. You'll have to go another way. Lovely. All right. Uh, what about here? Is this... It won't budge. It won't open. Hmm. Another way. I really can't just... Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. It's unlocked. Fog's thick tonight. Damp enough to put out a fella's smoke. A visit to the old town. Monitor your heartbeat and breathing carefully to keep track of your current sanity. As your sanity deteriorates, these effects will become more pronounced. Wow, I actually managed to read it before it finished. Monitor your heartbeat and breathing carefully to track your sanity. You basically just told me that. What? What? That was weird. I couldn't move for a second, and there was no sound. If I see you without fire, I'll report you to order. I'll not say nothing. Well, she's not going to tell me anything. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Just leave me be, stranger. She actually looks kinda normal. Amazingly. And she doesn't sound like a demon. It won't open. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. Oh. I have a strange... seeing that I'm being watched. By a robed figure. Hi. Bye. What the hell? Is it... I'm saying it because it sounds... doesn't even sound human. Is it sick? It looks sick. It won't budge. Do you need any help? I'm just gonna continue on my way. It won't open. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks who know what's good for them are safely bolted in their own house. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. This place looks disturbing. It won't open. That's where I just was. Old Lady Warren's passed away. The food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. Oh, God. Cockroaches everywhere.
everywhere, over the walls, all over the floor. Oh. Wait, there's someone sleeping there. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. That is disgusting. She's alive, amazingly. Why is there a medkit just sitting here? I'm sorry, I just stole a medkit from people that are look to be near death and are poor. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. That should not have been there. She is not alive. The old woman's dead. <sighs> oh, yep. I'm starting to lose it. It won't budge. I am going to be careful walking over that. It won't budge. I guess I'm afraid of heights. Alright, Dock Street? Yep, Dock Street. Oh dear God. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. The fuck are these things? Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. This game is so creepy. Mommy bites. She's kept in the attic for her own good. The hell is that noise? What are you drawing? It looks like she's drawing a picture of a house on fire. It won't budge. It won't budge. Yep, just just keep drawing. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. Hmm. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. Mommy's missing. It won't open. An old chest of drawers. It won't budge. <sighs> it's in there. 
In here, maybe? I don't know. That's the only one that's it locked. Won't budge. It sounds like it's coming from here. It won't budge. But this one is locked. Hold on, just a second. All right, let's um, let's let's unlock this door. Oh, it's further up. I see. Mommy bites. Mommy bites. Yes, she does. Killed his daughter. <laughs> Looks like a diary. Arkham. Wait, wait, when did I get this? Arkham Advertiser, 7th of February, 1922. Insmith robbery. Missing manager accused. In yesterday's edition, we reported on a burglary at the recently opened First National Grocery Store in Innsmouth. The case took a new turn today as authorities in the town named Brian Burnham, the store's manager, as a suspect in the case. Burnham has not been seen since the robbery, and is thought to have left the area. It is a very straightforward case, said Chief Constable Andrew Martin in response to inquiries by the advisor, or advertiser. This young man simply robbed his employer and fled. I imagine he's out of the country now, if not the state. The chief constable dismissed concerns expressed by First National Grocery's regional manager, Mr. Arthur Anderson, that Burnham may have been kidnapped or injured. Diary of Thomas Waite. The last entry in the diary is from today. It reads, Another sleepless night. I lay awake, listening to the movements of that thing that I married, pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon. Damn the oaths. And damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No, burning him. Him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave. Abandon my sham of a marriage. Leave the store to rot. And start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea of what she will become. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still used the month, day, and year as the four number, com four number combination for my safe, in that order, starting clockwise. It is as though I am trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy, before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me. But she is my daughter, and I can never harm her. She is blameless in all of this. When the time comes, Innsmouth will be the only place for her. And until then, I must stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement, for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Oh. 
Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Dear God. It's Ramona's coloring book. The drawings that fill Ramona's book are like things from a nightmare. It is hard to believe that a young child could imagine such horrors. There are pictures of strange, unnatural creatures, crudely drawn, but still able to provoke visceral feelings of revulsion. One of them is captioned with the word, Mother. What can it mean? These profoundly disturbing images raise grave concerns about the girl's state of mind. God, I, I, I just love how twisted and dark and disturbing this game is. Alright, so what is this key to? Variety store. Okay, I know where that is. I just need to get back to where I was before. What's down here? It won't budge. Nothing. You again. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. We can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, I guess I should heal myself, and oh my god, look at all that blood! Just spattered everywhere. Oh wow, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that this game has such a detailed health system. I totally forgot about this. Oh, look at that. Head, right arm, torso, left arm, right leg, left leg. And amongst all those things, you can use bandages, splints, sutures, and antidote? Antidote to what? Uh, I don't know what that means. Anyway. Done. Okay, looking good again.
A visit to the old town. Whenever you suffer a sanity loss, you risk developing a mental kid. Okay. Once again, it's frozen, and gonna come back. There we go. Jesus Christ. So that's what the policeman was stopping people from seeing. The room full of blood splatters. Alright, variety stores down here. It's unlocked. Now wait a minute, what's... I just realized, I'm gonna need the combination. Which is given... well... He mentions it here. Um, let's see. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birthday gave me such joy. So much that I still use the month, day, and year as the four number combination for my safe, in that order, starting clockwise. See, for some reason, I remember being stuck at this puzzle when I last played it, and I don't remember why. Yesterday was her birthday, so what is the day before this? What is this day? It's from today. Well, what is today's date? How do I... how do I find today's date? I, I don't know, maybe there'll be like a calendar in here or something. Uh... who are you? You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Oh, is that Ruth? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break-in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. If I can find him. Well, lots of meat and blood. Nothing of interest. It's wonderful. A squeaking cage. Something's been let out of the cage. Nothing of interest here. Alright, I don't think there's anything in here other than the safe. It won't open. No, I think the safe is it. That just looks like piles of blood. What is that? I don't even want to know. Alright. Alright, yeah, so... I must have got something wrong. I didn't even try. What is today's date? Is it... is the date somewhere, like, obvious that I'm missing? What about my diary? I mean, would this be... it?
night. Alright, so when was this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's the bus ride? Was the bus ride tomorrow? And tomorrow afternoon, I'll be on it. Okay, so today's date is February 7th, 19... I'm gonna write this down. February 7th, 1922. That is today's date. Okay. So... Whoops. Went too far back. Mm hmm. Month, day, and year. Month, day, year. Four number combination. Starting clockwise. And it was. Um. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. Alright, so yeah, it was the um, 6th, February 6th. Nineteen ninety-two, or nineteen twenty-two. I mean, and why did this give me so much trouble before? I can't even remember. Like this seems pretty simple, unless something's going to go wrong. Anyway, before I enter the combination, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's enter it. Starting clockwise should be two six two two. Right, February sixth. Sixth. Wow, I can't talk. February sixth, nineteen twenty-two. Now, how do I do this? W-A-S-D? Okay. So, two. And six. And two. And two. I must have made a mistake. Okay... So something went wrong before, I remember being stuck on this and I don't remember why. Is that not how you... that is how you use it, right? Like, I'm, I'm not really used to using these locks, but I think you... If you start clockwise, you go to the number, and then you go to the reverse to the next number, right? And then you reverse it again, right? You go back and forth, right? I must have got something wrong. So, let's just check this again. February 6th is the day before today. 1922. Her birthday was yesterday from today, so her birthday was February 6th, 1922. Mm-hmm. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. Month, day, and year is the four-number combination. In that order, starting clockwise. Month, day, and year. Month, February, two. Day, six. Year, 1922. So I used the last two digits. Right? Should I use the first two? 19? That wouldn't really make any sense, but let's try it. Wait, did I start counterclockwise? Hold on, let me do this again with my current numbers. Two, six, two, two. I must have made a mistake. Just to test this again. Two, six, two, Two. Like, do I need to press anything special? E? No, I... I damn it, I didn't... <sighs> okay, that was weird. Two, six... Nineteen? Uh... Let's try it, I guess. Two... Six... One... Yes, that's it. What? I didn't... I didn't even f What? Whatever. Okay. I didn't even finish. I don't get it. Of what just happened. 
The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words, Book of Dagon. So that's what I need to keep from the order. Book of Dagon. Wait, when, how long have I had this photo for? Oh, since she gave it to me, right. Oh man, I can't, can't even examine it. Heavily bound manuscript embossed with the title Book of Dagon. It's a translation of some ancient glyphs. Uh, j yeah, wait. Wait, ancient gifs? <laughs> what? Ancient gifs? G-Y-P-H-S? Um, I think they forgot an L. Glyphs. Maybe that's the ye olde spelling of gif? Dot gif? Or gif, depending on how you want to say it. Ancient gifs. I didn't know they've been around that long. Uh, do I hear walking? It won't open. I hear walking. I guess it's just people on the street. I don't know, what do I do now? It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. I totally agree with you, Jack Walter. I would not sleep here. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? Yep. Waits will swing for that. Yep. I actually don't know where to go now. What, what do I need to do? Do I need to meet Ruth? I'm only supposed to meet her if I find him, right? Brian Burnham? Where am I taking this book? I don't know. Let's just explore the town. Actually, I'll... This might take me a while, because I really don't know what to do, so I'll cut to when I find something. Oh, this is new? This place is sectioned off. Constable, what's with the blockade? You'll better be minding your own affairs. What have you done with Tom Waite? Them police affairs have nothing to warrant your concern. Chit-chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. Hmm, I guess I need to find another way. Is there an alley or something? I don't see one. Don't budge. Alright, you know what? Actually, I have been playing for a while, so I think I'm actually going to end this episode here. And when I come back, I will know exactly what to do. Because I'm going to find it before I start recording. Okay, so yeah, just a mini wrap-up. I love this game. I hope everyone's enjoying it too. I think it's it has a lot of issues, both technical and design-wise, but there's a lot about it that's just awesome. I mean, just look at this beginning. This is brilliantly done. This is seriously brilliantly executed. This is how you do a horror game. Uh, excuse me. This game is going to run right into me. This is how you do a horror game. Don't give people a bunch of weapons, at least especially not right off the bat. You do actually get a lot of weapons later, which might be a mistake. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens when I actually play those sections. But yes, especially don't give people a bunch of weapons in the beginning. Don't throw monsters in people's faces. No. You need to be subtle. You need to let tension build up. Let the player imagine horrible things happening. Let the sense of, build, uh, of dread build up. And that's exactly what they've done beautifully here. I've come to this fucked up town. I'm locked inside. This town that I've heard horrible things about. They have a headless statue. And their people all look extremely sickly. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? Nothing I want to talk to you about, stranger. They look and they sound sickly as hell. There's something horribly wrong with this place. I'm being watched. Just... Such a pervading sense of dread and horribleness in this town. Uh, 
Look, this this random guy is just weeping. Because he knows he's going to spend the rest of his life here. So yes, um, just, just talking about the beginning of the game so far, even though I know I have nostalgia for this game, this beginning lives up to exactly how I remember it. It is brilliant. It is seriously brilliant. It's great. The hell was that? Sounded like someone was pounding on a door. Hmm. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed, and I will be back soon, and we will look at more of the shadows in Innsmouth.